Hey guys, we're here today with the next video in our Coworker Chooses My TBR series. That's right. Um, I am going to pick five books for Sally to read. And five books to choose from. To choose from. She needs to read at least three of them over yes. the next few months. Yeah. Out of the five. You can read all five if you want. We'll see. If you're ambitious. <laughs> and then we'll follow up with another video to see what she thought of the books yeah. I recommended to her. We have really different tastes in books, so I'm very curious to see what you'll have chosen for me. Yeah, I didn't... Well, let's just get into the video. So I'm going to try not to peek at what she's chosen for me until it's... In your face. In front of my <laughs> face. <laughs> so I'm going to go in the opposite order of how Corey chose books for me. Okay. If you haven't watched our first video where we do this, check it out. We'll leave a link below. Yeah. Um, so the first book is one that I found on your TBR shelf in the office. Okay. And I chose it simply from the cover. Okay. I have no idea what it's about. Okay. I don't think you've read it because it's like not coming out until late this year. Okay. Um, but it looked pretty cute. Ooh, it is and it. it is Astrid the Unstoppable by oh, Maria Parr. This one just showed up last week and it looks really cool. This is actually... This even kind of looks like you. It does. <laughs> Um, this is a translated one that I think, uh, it was somewhere in Scandinavia first, I believe, Norway. Um, and it's, it's been compared to, I think it's like Pippi Longstockings meets my side of the mountain. Nice. Um, yeah, about a, a cool little girl named Astrid who is like huge into, uh, skiing in her remote mountain village. Good pick. It would have taken me a while to get to this one, so I'm glad to move it up the list. Yeah, and it's so it looks so cute. Like, hopefully you like it. Cover. Maybe it'll be like a December Alcray Junior book because it looks wintry. Yeah, Baby Longstockings meets Heidi, not My Side of the Mountain. There we go. Both classic. Both classics. Okay, cool. I think I'm okay. Off to off to a yeah. roaring start. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now the next one is one that I found on your Goodreads TBR, and okay. you also happen to have a copy in the okay. office. And I want you to read it because it's a book that I'm really curious about, mm. and it's kind of groundbreaking in the middle grade genre. Okay. And that is Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. Awesome. So, um, all I know about this one, I don't know too much, but I know that it features gay kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty, I don't think I've ever seen that in middle grade before. I've seen it a couple times, but it's definitely rare. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm happy about this one too. Do you, do you know anything about this one? Not too much. I know I, I know the author, like Ashley Herring Blake is pretty well known in the YA community for writing queer books. Cool. And I think this is her first like middle grade. Yeah, I think mistaken. so. Um, yeah, I just talked about this one in our book haul last week. And it's about a little girl who uh, a tornado rips through town um, and like destroys her family's house along with her mm. journal full of like secret drawings and, and stuff that, that uh. feature her holding uh, another girl's hand and then somebody I guess finds it finds and that. helps her sort of come out of her shell a bit. It cool. Sounds adorable. So yeah. I want I hope that you read it and then you can tell me how it is. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Good one. Alright, and now the next three are books that I really enjoy okay. that I thought it'd be fun to see if Sally likes them. Sally doesn't read too much YA, no. so these are all YA to kind of push you outside of your comfort zone, get to read some books that are pretty popular okay. in the YA community. The first one is one of my favorite books, The Serpent King. The oh! Um, you talk about this one so much. Talk about it a lot. And I think, I, I mean, I don't know what you're going to think. <laughs> I think you'll like it. I think it's kind of, I've never heard of anyone who's read it and not liked it. Okay. But it's still quite underhyped, I guess. Okay. So this is a book about um, three teenagers who are kind of outsiders and friends living in a small town. And it's really kind of just like a slice of life book. Like it just is about them in their last year of high school, like trying to figure out what they want to do. Okay. Um, it's very moving and just really well done. So I hope you like it if I you read like it. it too. It's a sad one though. I can so, feel it's sad. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and then the next one I chose because you were talking about this author kind of recently, and I have a, I think you want to get more into his books. Okay. And I've only recently scratched the surface with his books as well, and they're excellent. And that's Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. Oh, cool! Yeah, we were just talking about him in the bookstore. 
And I chose this one because it's a very quick read. Okay. So I thought it would be good for this challenge. Um, because it's kind of written in verse. Is it, it is all one story though? It's not yeah. like a series It's all of one story and it all takes place in like 60 seconds or something. Oh wow. Um, basically it takes place in the time it takes to get through an elevator ride in an apartment building. Right. Um, okay. So it's really good. You could finish that probably in one sitting. Cool. So. Also really sad, but okay. Yeah. It's a neat cover. Okay, and the last one is just almost like a guilty pleasure pick for me. <laughs> and I oh, I really hope that you pick this one because I, I would just love to hear what you think. <laughs> and I know You want me to pick all of them? <laughs> I know I do. But that's The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I thought you were going to choose this one for me. I wanted to pick at least one YA book that's like super, super popular yeah. and hyped. But also blade. one that I really liked. Yes. So this is a pretty messed up book about fairies. Okay. And like I normally wouldn't gravitate towards book about fairies. Mm -hmm. But I love this one. Yeah, I know. remember you being really surprised at how much you like this one. Mm -hmm. This, this for sure is like the most outside of my comfort zone because it's both YA and like fantasy. Because fantasy. Fantasy. basically all the fantasy I read is middle grade. Yeah. So this should be interesting. I almost chose all YA fantasy and then I was like, <laughs> reel it back. <laughs> let's try, just, let's just try one. <laughs> okay. But I wanted to pick at least one that was like, yeah, like really outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Because you never know. Ooh, maybe. This one's pretty twisted and and like kind of grabs you in. So hopefully you like it. Okay. Oh, I don't know which one to start with, but I'm not. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to start with, and then we'll check back in. Yeah. And it'll be a, a surprise. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like like Corey must have felt like it's nerve wracking handing someone like some of your favorite books. And yeah, being, totally. Like, which is honestly think? part of the reason why I haven't read a lot of YA yeah. is because like I know. That all of you guys, the rest of the Owl Crate team, like hold these YA books like so near and dear to your hearts that I'm like, if it just really isn't my thing at all, I don't want to find out for sure. Well, I'll say but, here now, it's okay if you don't like them. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll still be friends, I guess. Okay. I hope okay. so. <laughs> but maybe you'll find a new favorite, just like I did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, guys, so here is a quick recap of the five books that Karina has given me as my options. I'm gonna read at least three of them in the next couple of months. Yeah. Um, so we've got The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. Is this your least favorite copy of it? Yeah. That's why she gave it to me, she knows I'm rough with It's books. my only unsigned copy. <laughs> I'll be nice to all of these. Yes. I will I'll, I'll use my book bow for everything. Oh, thank you. Yes. Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. And Astrid the Unstoppable my book by Maria Parr. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And check back in in a few months with Sally's update. Thank all you right. so much for watching. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye. Bye.